Hi, this video is inspired by my very first YouTube comment from Michael Guzman. So thanks, Michael. And now we're gonna look at how to create your own add-ins for Excel. So if you wanna create some custom functions that you can use across all your workbooks, you're gonna to wanna to create your own add-in. First step is to open VBA. You can hit Alt F11 to get there. Alternatively, you can go to View Macros and find it through there. Okay, so you're gonna find the VBA project with the name of your book. We're just book one right now. And you're gonna insert a module. There we go. And here you're gonna type out the, your functions, starting with function, and then the name of your function. We're gonna do BMI, and you can input your weight and your height. And if you missed this um, first video, you might wanna check it out. Um, so we're also going to add an age based on your date of birth and just a function with three random variables that does some calculations. So now we want to build an add-in so we can use these functions across any workbook. So it's quite simple. You're going to go to File, Save As, and you're going to type the name of it. Let's call this Custom Add-in. And this is the most important step. You're going to save as Type and you're gonna look for Excel add-in. It should be extension.xlam. Click that. Let's see, I already have one here. This is one I was working on earlier today to prepare for this, and here I have option pricing. Okay, so click Save. As you know, with any add-in, you have to add it into your Excel. You have to select it. So, let's go to File, Options. I'm gonna go to Add-ins right here, and you can see all of your active add-ins and then you can go to manage your add-ins at the bottom. And here we can see all the add-ins I have selected and the ones available. I don't see custom add-in here, so I'm gonna browse. It'll bring me right to the add-in folder and I'll click custom add-in, okay. And then and make sure it's clicked there, custom add-in, okay, great. So now if I open a whole new workbook, file new, I should be able to use my custom function. So BMI, let's see, 120, 65. One problem that you might have is that if you use an Excel function, you'll see that when you start typing it, you can see the function arguments laid out for you. And you don't get that when you're, it's a custom function, even if it's built as an add-in. There are some difficult workarounds, but it's definitely beyond the scope of this video. And I don't really think that they're worth the time and the energy. But what you can do is you can type in the function, and while you're inside editing the cell, hit Control A, and it will bring up the function arguments with the names that you gave them. Your input weight, input height. So you can type them in here, hit OK. And there we go. Great. And please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss any of my Excel videos. And if you put your requests for videos in the comment section below, I will do my best to get to them.